All right, let's get started. So if you guys uh, just joined, I just wanted to say that this meeting is being recorded. So if you uh, don't want to turn your webcam on, that's completely fine. Welcome to the Sociedad Honoraria Hispanica interest meeting. Today is September 12th, and it is the A lunch meeting right now, or the afternoon lunch, as we have called it. So what is SHH? The Elkin Sociedad Honoraria Hispanica is a scholarly organization that volunteers within the Hispanic community and immerses students in Hispanic culture through authentic activities and events. So what do we do? We do things like volunteering for our community, such as at the Hispanic Forum and Career Fair, Lunches of Love, and Second Mile. We also do volunteering at Elkin, such as gardening with the PTO, organizing our school, textbooks, etc. And last but not least, we have socials and uh, cultural events such as movie night, dinner social, winter social, etc. So during virtual learning, we do have a lot of exciting activities and volunteering planned for you guys that you'll be able to do at home. So first, we'll really quickly introduce ourselves. So my name is Jefferson. I'm this year's SHH president. I'm currently a senior and yeet is my catchphrase. An interesting fact is that I'm an only child and I love the service that SHH is able to provide for our community. I became an officer to enrich SHH with even more events and volunteering opportunities. Hi, my name's Akil. I'm the vice president. My catchphrase is probably something along the lines of let's get donuts. I like donuts, it's just a thing. Something interesting about me is that I like to go biking a lot. They kind of balance each other out, I hope. So I like SHH because it provides a place for us to organize and come together to accomplish a unified goal. Like all of us working together is better than all of us working separately. And I became an officer to help plan more things for us and to take an active role in the planning and execution of yearly activities. Hi, my name is Abigail Zierat. Um, I go by Abby or AJ, whatever works. Um, I'm an event coordinator and the senior this year. I don't really have a catchphrase, but you will hear me calling myself a clown a lot. And um, an interesting fact is that I love cherry coke. If you get me a can, we'll be friends for life. Um, I love the opportunities for cultural enrichment that SHH provides beyond the classroom. And um, I became an officer this year to help others develop an appreciation for the Spanish language and culture. Hi everyone, my name is Emily and I'm an event coordinator. I'm a current junior and Yi McGee is my catchphrase. Um, this one's kind of random, but an interesting fact, I lost my first tooth because I fell off the couch. It wasn't fun, but you know, eventually. I got over it. Um, I think SHH is a great club because of the opportunities provided to immerse ourselves in Hispanic culture. And I became an officer because I wanted to take on a bigger role um, because I love the Hispanic culture and I wanted to help others in our community share the same enthusiasm. So I'm Juana Inchico. Um, I'm in public re relations and I'm a senior. Um, I definitely don't talk enough to have a catchphrase. Um, an interesting fact is I have a dog and a cat and chickens, which I don't know if it's completely allowed, but anyways, um, SHH is a way to share love for the Spanish language and allows for a better understanding of the Spanish culture that's not just limited to the classroom, which is why I wanted to join it in the first place. And I became an officer to spread my passion for the Hispanic culture in a bigger way. Hi, my name is Ivan Tong and I am a public relations officer. I'm currently a junior and my catchphrase is stop trolling because I used to play a lot of league until it became like a big problem. Um, an interesting fact, although it's probably not as interesting as Giovanna's chickens, but I have two dogs and they're basically the opposite of each other. So like one of them's a chihuahua, the other one's a corgi. And if I were to be like attacked by someone, the chihuahua would probably attack the attacker, but the corgi would just go and ask for like belly rubs. Uh, what I really love about SHH is that it brings light onto the beautiful Spanish culture. And there's just something about Spanish that really appeals, for, uh, appeals to me. And we live in a very diverse community and I just really love that SHH is able to um, just shine light onto this uh, culture. And I became an officer to provide a greater variety of Spanish related hour opportunities that match our mission statement of encouraging um, the Spanish culture and 
recognizing those who are very interested in it, very interested in it. Awesome. So if you guys have found this meeting link and joined our meeting, then that probably means that you've been on our website before. So our website is elkinssh.weebly.com. Make sure that you subscribe to our website so that you can receive all of our email notifications and updates. And all of the information regarding SHH will always be posted on the website. Additionally, you'll want to make sure that you're joined in our reminds. So our remind code is at Elkins or at SHH 2021 AM if your last name is A through M or NZ if your last name is N through Z. And we also have a Twitter and Instagram at Elkins SHH. We do follow back and we are also going to do some giveaways for followers. So stay tuned for that. We'll have more information at the first member meeting. So make sure that you follow our website and remind because that's definitely for information. And we also encourage you to follow our Twitter and our Instagram. For our website, there are four big tabs. And for the blog, everything is posted on here from volunteering opportunities to the, uh, the meeting links. Everything's on the blog. For registration, that's everything you're going to need to fill out to be a part of the club. It has all the forms, all of the uh, rev check links. For calendars, it has all of the meeting links, and we will have all of our volunteering opportunities posted on there later in the year. And for documents, that's just just finding the forms you need whenever you need them. So you're at our interest meeting. So one of the questions you must have is, well, why should I join? For one, it looks great on resumes and college applications. We are a nationally recognized honor society and um, colleges will definitely have their eye on that. Um, we have a lot of opportunities for volunteering events and socials. And if you sign up with your friends, you can hang out with them and get your volunteering credit at the same time to win-win. Um, we already have those um, in the works, so please stay tuned. Um, help enrich the Hispanic culture in and around Elkins. And we do have senior cords for graduation, which looks really cool. So if, you, if you're a freshman or a sophomore and you, and you stay, in, um, stay in SHH, you'll have more awards to get. So that's a plus. So you're probably wondering, how can I become a member? So if you're interested, it's really simple. All you have to do is go on our website, elkinssh.weekly.com slash registration.html to find the registration form. And after you've completed the form, play, pay your dues through the RevTrack link posted on our website as well. Um, on the RevTrack page, you have to select whether you're a new member or a returning member. If you were in SHH last year, but you did not fulfill the member requirement, so you didn't complete your hours or enrichment, you are considered a new member. So please note that. And lastly, dues are $25 for new members and $20 for returning member. The fee includes a t-shirt and um, cost for events and socials. So when do we meet? So we meet once about every month and these meetings are mandatory. Each meeting will include three sub meetings virtually on Zoom. So we always have a Wednesday morning meeting at 8.30 a.m a Wednesday lunch meeting at 1 p.m. and a Thursday afternoon meeting at 3.45 p.m. But you only need to attend one to get, um, to get the credit for being at a meeting. And you are allowed to miss up to two meetings. The interest meeting isn't included because you're not required to be here. But throughout the year, you are allowed to miss up to two meetings. And after missing three meetings, you will be at risk of removal from SHH. We're gonna be taking attendance using the Zoom chat. So you, you wanna make sure that you can use that and yeah, as Jefferson said, just send your student ID to him. And we are, our, the date for the induction is um, to be determined. It's sometime in March, but we haven't figured out the exact date. But when we do, we'll let you guys know. So as Giovanna just said, we have meetings every month. Um, so here are the dates right here. We have September 9th and 10th, uh, October 7th and 8th, all the way down to April. And then we do this so that if you can't make one day, then you can try to make it up the, the next day. And so in order to um, be in SHH, you have to either be in Spanish theory now or have taken it before. And that means that even if you like stop taking Spanish uh, after Spanish three, you can still be a part of SHH. 
And if you are currently enrolled in Spanish 3, you need to have an average of 80 plus or 90 plus for the advanced level. So our member requirements and our service hours, things like that, those are pretty simple. So we're, you're required to have 10 service hours per year, five per semester is suggested. That's so that you're on track throughout the year and two enrichment activities per year, one per semester is suggested. So a lot of people ask, what is the difference between a volunteering or a service hour and an enrichment activity? So volunteering or service hours are basically like volunteering at SHH approved opportunities where you're doing service and enrichment credits will be given for attending activities such as cultural events and socials. So we'll clearly indicate which events earn volunteering and service hours and which events earn enrichment credit. And our hour sheet is posted online on our website. You can download that, print it out, or keep a digital copy. We'll talk a little bit more about that as well as some of the fun enrichment and service opportunities that we'll be providing throughout this fall semester during virtual learning. If you want to volunteer somewhere else for um, our credits, you have to get it approved by us first because we don't want you to like go there and then volunteer for six or seven hours and not get the amount of hours that you did or not have it approved at all because it's not um, a Spanish related event or something. And at hosted events and socials, you should get your hour sheet signed at or immediately after the event itself. We won't be signing hour sheets days after the event anymore. That turned into a mess last year. So, And at non-SHH hosted events, such as Elkins, PTO, or school events, you should have the event organizer sign your hour sheet. So if we aren't there, just get somebody like a teacher sign your hour sheet. And if they don't sign, then get it signed by either one of us or Senor Torres four days after the event. And just to help us like know that you were there, give us a picture of yourself at the event too. So. Uh, during virtual learning, our and enrichment signatures can be digital. However, they should still be signed into a digital copy of the sheet. And we're gonna give you more instructions um, during our first member meeting next week. It's actually a week from today and tomorrow. And when we provide volunteering and en enrichment opportunities. Awesome, so that wraps up our interest meeting. We look forward to seeing you guys soon. Our next meeting, our first member meeting will be September 9th and September 10th. Uh, and once again, if you guys could put your student IDs in the chat again, even if you did it at the beginning, we want to, our, our method is going to be to do it once at the beginning and once at the end. So we're gonna try testing that. So if you guys could help us out, that would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to register and join our Remind and website. All of that information can be found um, on any of those sites. You can find our Remind on the website and the website through the Remind, et cetera. And if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask them or put them in the chat. Um, so for us to be a, uh, if we were a member last year, for us to be a member this year, we just have to pay the dues? Right, so you would have to pay the a returning member or new member dues, depending on uh, if you finished your member requirements. And then you also have to complete the registration form that's listed on our website. Uh, the dues will be due on October 1st. So the registration form and the dues will be due together. So it'll be due on October 1st. That information is posted on our website. And besides that, if you guys don't have any more questions, you all are free to go. We hope to see you guys next week at our first member meeting. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye.